Hi everybody, this is Michelle Gold, and we just enjoyed an awesome Bible study with my husband, Joe Franco. That's me. He has a great history with Chosen People Ministries. He works behind the scenes, yeah, and he taught me everything I know as a Jewish believer. So he Doesn't actually know much. <laughs> heads up all the Passover seders and has studied under some great minds. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to share a touch of Shavuot, because this week is Shavuot, and I bet you're wondering, Not what is week, it? Next week. Next week, June Jan 11th. June sorry. 12th. Yeah, there's been a lot going on. <laughs> anyway, such a Jew. What kind of Jew? I know. I'm it's one of these days. It's okay. Anyhow, it's matter. okay. Well, here's the thing. What is Shavuot? That's what I wanted to ask you for our friends out there. It's a Jewish holiday. Duh. Hey, there we go. It's a Jewish holiday. It was. Uh, it's in the Leviticus 23, and it talks about how 50 days after the Sabbath during Passover season that you have to come, all the Jewish people would go to Jerusalem and bring sacrifices and blessings to the Lord, thanking them for the first harvest of their grains that they would have so back then. So it's agricultural. How it was an agricultural like Feast of Tabernacles where the first fruits you're celebrating God's provision. Is it similar? Tabernacles is a celebration of... Yeah, Yay, the harvest is over. We got all the food that we need. God provided for our food. He provided water. He provided everything. He protected us. And Shavuot is a big like Thanksgiving celebration for seven days. It's mm -hmm. a happy ho happy holiday. Shavuot is a happy holiday, but it's just really like a one or two day holiday. Um, but the interesting thing about Shavuot is that Jewish tradition teaches that uh, the the law was presented to Moses and all That's the Israelites in the desert on Shavuot, as well right. as all the Gentiles that were with them, the strangers that left Egypt with them. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the law was presented the to all of them. The most words from the Lord himself were yep. presented on that day. God's on the law mountain. presented I mean, to them. That's a huge, huge thing, you know, mm -hmm. because as people on this earth, we want to meet with God. We want to hear God's voice. We want to get his word. And that's actually the day that his word was presented. That's pretty right. cool. But the cool thing is now, go back, second chapter of Acts, we see on the day of Pentecost, which is the Greek way to say Shavuot, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Ruach HaKodesh was <laughs> presented to the church that day, the body of believers in Messiah. Amen. How is that, that relevant today? Well, look at it this way, that... You know, in, in in the the Hebrew scriptures, we see the law being presented to uh, to to the Jewish people and to the Gentiles with them. This is the law you have to follow, the law of Moses. It, it, came, it was given to them at Mount Sinai and traditionally on Shavuot, on the second chapter of Acts, on that day of Pentecost, when all these Jews from all over the world are in Jerusalem to celebrate celebrate Shavuot and have Thanksgiving that God provides for them. God provides them with the power of the Holy Spirit that could wow. be in their lives. And so the law that was written on stones is not being replaced. It's now fulfilled that the law is now placed in our, in our hearts. hearts. That you receive Amen. the gift of the Holy Spirit. When you receive Jesus as your Savior, as your Messiah, you receive the gift of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. And Amen. His law gets written on our heart. Amen. That cool? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's awesome because otherwise it's just empty religion. If we don't have yeah. the Holy Spirit in us, then it's just, I believe, it's in here. But right. now, with the Holy Spirit, it's here. Exactly. And we can touch people and pray for them. And it's more know, than just having a religion. It's, it's a fellowship that you have with God. Because now, intimacy. God is dwelling mm -hmm. within you, right. in your He's heart. Right, in you. His law is on your heart. Amen. What would we be missing if we ignored all this? Like I said, it would be just empty I think we'd miss... Or... I think religion would just become kind of stale and kind of stagnant and just go through the motions. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I heard the sermon, I heard the songs, I gave my money, and... I'm going home now. Mm -hmm. But I we believe when presence. you when we, we give our heart to God mm -hmm. and we ask his his son Yeshua to take residence in our heart, we get filled with his Holy Spirit. It's a fellowship and it's mm -hmm. a relationship that you get to know God and he gets to know you because right. he wants that fellowship with you. Intimacy. And it's one of those blessing things, an intimacy with God. You know, and I think without the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. I don't think you could have that intimacy with God. That's pretty cool. And we were talking earlier in our Bible study how through the power of the Holy Spirit, Joe and I were able to overcome some seriously dangerous situations. Mm -hmm. For me, I was on the train um, when I was in my 20s and was uh, put into a headlock by some guy and was able to pray mm -hmm. in the power of the Holy Spirit. 
spirit after reading, I think it was 2 Corinthians 4.17. 4.13. Uh, 4.13 about calling on the name of the Lord in power. And God delivered me. The, the train stopped. The guy unleashed me and, and I was free. And she walked um, off un unharmed. And we all That's have experiences the Holy Ghost. like that, that when we, when we go in the power of the Lord, we can do great things. So I appreciate you sharing that with us. And I just want to share for any of you out there who don't yet know God, I've created a page on my website that links to all of my favorite articles and favorite videos of other Jewish believers like myself. It's michellegold.com slash God. I thought I'd keep it easy and simple. simple. But for those of you who know the Lord and you want that power of the Holy Spirit now, I think, you know, even though this is the internet, I think we can pray for you. And I think the power of God will even come through right now and touch you Amen. in a deep and, and passionate way. So let's pray for our friends who are watching. Father God. Father need. God. Father God, we praise you and thank you, Father, that yes. in the name of your Holy Son, Yeshua, Jesus, we could call upon you day or night mm -hmm. at any time. So, Father, we thank you, Father, in Yeshua's name for your blessings in our lives. And mm -hmm. I pray, Father, now, first for anyone out there that does not know you as their Lord, that does not know your Son as their Savior, I pray, Father God, that you would reveal your Son to them. Mm -hmm. Jesus, reveal your, yourself to them right now, Father, to show them the beauty and the wonder of what you have for them, dear Lord, the glory and the riches and the salvation that you have planned for them. And Father God, we pray for all believers, dear Lord, that you would fill them with the right glory now, and power right of your Holy Yeshua. Spirit, Father God, power. that in Yeshua's name, Father mm. God, they would receive that power to have the boldness to be witness to this to everybody in their mm. lives, in their family, from their hometown to the ends of the earth, share Father. The Fill them yes, with Lord. the power to share that blessed hope mm. that we all have, those of us who know you, that we have that blessed hope, that beyond a shadow of doubt, that Yeshua mm -hmm. resides in our hearts and he can come into the hearts and lives of those who are lost. Amen. We thank you, Father, for hearing this prayer in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. 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 God bless you. It was so good being with you. Shalom. Shalom. Good night. Thanks, Joey. Bye-bye.